All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And as you just saw, we landed at Fuerteventura. Yeah, we are here in the Canaries. And there's a specific reason why I'm here. I'm not just here for fun, but of course also for fun. And yeah, I just went through my first trip with windsurfing gear on a plane. And I really don't want to ever do it again, honestly. Like now I know what all the guys are talking about, that it's such a hassle to do it with windsurfing gear. I only had two bags. They are like 22 kilograms each. And then my carry-on, which was also 20 kilograms, so 60 kilograms. But I flew from Köln Bonn. And this airport was always in the news because they fired all their staff over the pandemic. And now that it's actually the holiday, they didn't have enough staff. And so there was like a two kilometer long line at the airport of just people waiting to get through security. So I was already there four and a half hours early. But then it was so full and with those 60 kilograms of windsurfing gear, I had to get through the airport and yeah, you cannot go with a cart because it doesn't fit anywhere. So I had to carry it like I took one bag, I carried it for like for like uh, 20 meters. I went back, I got the other bag and oh, I really don't. <laughs> I really hate flying with windsurfing gear, guys. Anyway, then I got to the airport here in Fuerteventura and uh, I had a rental car. I already booked it previously, but the problem is I myself don't have a credit card. And yeah, I didn't know how much of a problem it would be that I don't have a credit card. I booked the car already with the credit card of my dad back when I was at home, but I had to give them the actual credit card at the store. So then what I had to do is do like a $500 deposit in case I do an accident or something. And I didn't have that much cash with me. So I went to the ATM and I had to pay the 500 plus on top the like 260 for the actual car and I could only take out like 500 euro at the ATM. So then I had to bargain them down and it took like one hour to get the rental car and all the while my stuff was, my windsurfing gear was lying in the airport and yeah. Guys, now we're here and let's actually go to the beach and I will explain to you why we're here. But yeah, at least they gave me a car that fits all my windsurfing gear, a Caddy Jumpy here. And I got all the stuff inside there. Let's focus on the car. And yeah, let's drive to the beach. Matas Blancas and guys the reason why I'm here is we have a world speed championship here in four days from the 30th of June and it's my first world speed championship but the problem with the speed surfing championship is we still don't know if it's actually going to happen because there's some political problems apparently and we're not allowed to start at the beach that was originally planned so now I'm just here and because I booked everything so I don't know if the event will actually happen in four days or not. But today we're here at Matas Blancas and I'm gonna do some training because I also just received my new medium board, the 72.5 AV Modena. And I'm going to test that one now. It's already pretty windy.
first session in Fuerteventura is done and at first I was on the 118 and that board was actually pretty good at this spot over here because you have a lot of wind holes because as you can see over there there's this kite station and behind there there's a big wind hole and with a medium board I was actually going really nicely through the chop so I had like 37 knots on the medium board on the 118 liter and then I switched to the 60, uh, 62 wide and 98 liter and on that one it took a long time to get faster and later on I switched down to 6.2 and then I got faster. I was up to 39.3 knots and on the first day that is pretty good. So this is actually the spot of the World Championship a couple of years ago. They did it a couple of times here and yeah it's a really nice spot over here. It's super flat water unlike Zota Vento where you have a lot of chop but, and here it's super easy. It's a little bit gusty but yeah 39 knots on the first day pretty good. I'm gonna head back to the apartment now make some dinner train again tomorrow and then the World Championship will start in three days so subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any of the action I will take you along for the journey and see you.